Okay. Uh, hi guys, Salam alaikum. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are on the world. So, as promised, today I'm here at Najah Exhibition and I found my friend Sarah Bawazir, who is right here. Uh, Sarah will talk to us today about uh, Haripa University. And uh, first of all, introduce yourself a bit. My name is Sarah Bawazir. I am her twin. Yeah. <laughs> so, was her was here. Don't confuse that. bachelor's and your and master's at Khalifa University and currently you're teaching at Khalifa University yeah I'm a lab engineer you're a lab engineer yes. so what I wanted from you here today is to share your experience and address the most important topics that someone should know before they actually get on and you know apply to the university okay so what I'm going to share with you uh, are general things that are help you whether you decide to apply at Khalifa University or at any other university. Uh, obviously we want you to apply to Khalifa University and it's a great place to study and uh, um, start your academic uh, career. What do you want to know? Well, okay, let's start from the start and tell me what I should know if I'm going to apply to Khalifa University. Okay, uh, before applying to any university, you should have, uh, you should look at their requirements, their admission requirements. Uh, some requirements are, um, are complicated, like if you are doing um, IB diploma, something like that, American system, British system, you need to look what is the requirement of the university of your dreams. Do they require that you take um, a certain number of, uh, of subjects? What are these subjects? Uh, do you have to include physics? Do you have to include uh, chemistry? You know, and um, these things, it's good to, um, like if you have a general interest in a specific uh, major, it's better to look at uh, university requirements three years before you apply. Three years? L uh, because, um, for example, let's see. For example, here in, in the brochure provided by Khalifa University, um, they're saying what are the admission requirements for specialized uh, schooling system. And, uh, and they have, for example, uh, specific requirements for applied technology, high school, secondary technical school, STS, uh, American system, uh, British system, international baccalaureate, something. So in the IB that I was talking about, so I heard uh, people talk and um, they were asking what courses should they take if they are in IB. And it says here, courses should include mathematics, physics, and chemistry. So there are certain requirements on what kind of courses um, you should have taken in high, uh, taken in high school. Uh, this is for, for the, like the specialized uh, uh, educational systems. Math and uh, for example, American system here, it says uh, you should have at least one science, chemistry, or physics uh, in the last year. And it says also mathematics in three of the last three years, physics in two of the last three years, and chemistry in one of the last three years. So different requirements for different uh, programs. Why? Because they want to make sure that uh, when you are um, that you are studying in an equivalent program. So there's there's also one of the requirements for, for going to any university is getting the uh, equivalency. So uh, how equivalent is the system um, in 
in your country, if you if you study, if you did your high school in in uh, a country other than the UAE, how equivalent is the high school uh, program to the expectations of the UAE? So it's uh, it's it's kind of a complicated. Uh, and it's not just a requirement for Khalifa University. My understanding is that uh, the Ministry of Education is uh, is also involved in something like that. So that's for students aiming for bachelors. What do you have to say to students aiming for masters or doctors? For masters, they're old enough to know uh, that the number one step they should take is looking into the university website, seeing what are the admission requirements, uh, making sure they are choosing um, the right major for them, the major that they will do their best in, and um, and we can go like specific advices if you want. Um, I, I know you you were asking like what should they do in the interview stuff. Yeah, the interviews. I think we should cover that for both bachelors and for masters and that? higher education. Yeah. General general advice if you're going for something important. What do you, what is the first thing you have to do? You have to um, get ready, uh, dress up professionally, um, and um, know about the place you're going to. Uh, for example, if you are, uh, this also applies to uh, applying for a job. You need to know the place that you are going um, to study or work at. Why? Because, uh, Generally, in, in interviews, people ask you, what do you know about us? To see how serious you are and, and wanting to be part of that institution. question uh, this is something that most of students who are going for a bachelor's degree are concerned about that is the uh, the fact that they have to take some tests and that if they fail these tests they have to go through a foundation year and that adds a year to their studies so tell us a little more about that uh, first of all I see it as a good thing to have a foundation year actually I was uh, granted the full admission and uh, you know when I was young and <laughs> when I was uh, at that time, I was like, oh, I wanted to do foundation, you know, because yeah. I am the type of person who likes to learn more. Okay. But, uh, so uh, don't be discouraged. Actually, it's an opportunity for you if you got the, the foundation year. So basically, this foundation year, what's the whole uh, idea of it? So my understanding of it from six years ago when uh, I had friends doing it was basically to uh, if they came from uh, schools where physics and uh, you know and sciences were taught in Arabic it's a chance for them to learn the same things but in English and a chance for them to work on uh, uh, getting a better IELTS so uh, just strengthen score. their their basics in math science and so yeah my understanding is also by the end of doing the foundation year they have to uh, do the IELTS again and then if they get the... But that is if they fail the initial IELTS exam. They not uh, fail if they didn't get the required... This move IELTS is valid for like five years when you take it? Yeah, this should be. It, maybe, maybe the requirement is a certain uh, grade and then you get uh -huh. kind of minus one. Uh -huh. that okay, okay, okay. Or minus so if, or if your uh, grade was less than the requirement, then you may have to take it again after mm, the foundation yes. year. Yeah. Okay. But don't take my word for it. Do your research. Do the research. It's better. It's better if you do your research on your own. But then, if things are not clear for you from the website after you've done your uh, uh, independent research, call, call the admission office. They are nice people, and I know. Um, yeah, I know that they're nice and they're willing to help you. So, Sarah, uh, tell us more about the statement of purpose and summarize it uh, in four top points. Exactly how do I assure that I'm writing a good statement of purpose? 
uh, if I'm you know applying for a bachelor's or a master's or whatever. So again, uh, usually um, universities will tell you what they would like to know about you in the statement of purpose. If they didn't mention what they want to know, then uh, one important thing to to um, point out is what is your uh, passion. Um, what are you passionate about and how are you uh, working to uh, gain the knowledge and skills to um, to help you achieve, achieve your your passion and goals. You, you should also um, show them how um, how balanced you are as a human being and that you you're not only um, good in uh, studying and uh, getting high grades but how are you as a person and do you have a balanced uh, personality structure like that yeah if you have those that. then you you definitely need to mention yeah. and if you don't have that uh, don't be discouraged. You can say how you are planning to, what things are you planning to do in the, in the university community. Do you plan to start a certain uh, university group uh, or, or a club to, um, to gather uh, people who have the same interests uh, as you? Like mentioned, do you want to, for example, start I, um, an environmental group at the university? Do you want to organize students um, for for a certain cause? Um, okay. um, third point can be about the structure, the format, or you know, in terms of how it should be con concise, not too much. Yeah, mm, yeah. Make sure that's a that's a very good point. Make sure that you are. So basically some universities will say there's a certain word count or there's a certain uh, yeah, limitation. So, so um, try to use that space uh, wisely. Um, read, read what you wrote 10 times. Uh, ask your father, mother, sister or someone to read it and then someone uh, like one of your teachers or something. To have a look because it's uh, sometimes there are things about us that we don't notice and others do uh, and um, maybe you have a certain characteristic maybe you're good um, in getting people together maybe you're a good negotiator and you don't know it because that's in you that uh, um, you know you have it uh, like natural in you so so maybe a teacher or, or, or a parent can um, can tell you, oh, you can add this. You remember that time you did that thing, okay. you know? Um, so, so other people also notice things about us that we uh, often think that they are ordinary and uh, not worth mentioning, but most of the time, they are. Yeah. So don't say, and I don't have anything, I've never done anything. No, don't. Uh, don't self uh, criticize, uh, don't criticize yourself. Yeah. Uh, we said mention. In terms of academics, what you want to do and how you how you're passionate. Sure. Second thing about uh, you know your own personality, your own uh, uh, you know if you have any extra curricular activities, any volunteering work, and so on, just to show this other side of you. Yeah. Uh, that you are a well-rounded. Exactly. Person. So that, you know, just studying is not everything in your life. You have other things going on that are important and that form or shape your personality. Mm -hmm. And uh, third thing we said. Um, the writing of the SOP, so you will be limited in terms of space. Make sure you utilize it wisely. Yeah, and don't don't uh, don't make uh, grammar mistakes or yeah, spelling don't make mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really like the worst you could do to yourself. Yeah. And uh, fourth thing was get it reviewed as much as possible by family members, and basically people you trust. This is, as they say, a sword with two edges. What is it? A sword with two edges. Yeah. It can be good, you can get good feedback, but sometimes mm -hmm. they uh, criticize you or tell you that this is, um, like will ask you to remove stuff from, no, if you if you believe that this is important for you, then stick with, with your original idea. So know basically how to filter out what you want to take 
and what you want to ignore uh, yeah. from what people give you. Yeah, in terms of like feedback. don't change completely what you said because of someone's opinion, right? Yeah. So, like have your personality. Great. Uh, okay, I think we got uh, everything important covered there. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I can, you know, pick you guys up with another video with, uh, with Sarah here. And um, yeah, that's it. We're done. Yes. Thank you for watching. You're Thank lucky you to have someone who uh, wants to share. Uh, oh, thank you. Yes. And I want to say that actually she has her own YouTube channel where yes. she's uh, sharing uh, educational type of uh, yes. you know, uh, courses. Don't or, judge me. Some videos I did when I was an undergrad. Uh, it's okay, no judgments there, but her videos are really useful from what, I, uh, from what I've seen. And uh, thank you for doing this video with me, by the way, and for sharing your experience. And uh, yeah, okay, uh, great. Have a great life, believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, go for your dreams, and uh, you know. Be positive. Be positive. Yeah, I always mess up the VMP. <laughs>